I, I want to thank y'all for using chalk. Do that. Everybody try to be civil, I suppose. I but uh, we kind of just feel, you know, weird. We feel weird and stuff like that. As soon as we start using chalk, y'all send an officer to say we can't do anything. We can't put no signs up. We can't put no chalk or anything. Like it's really intimidating. Like we feel like y'all sending these officers just to intimidate us from uh, talk, discussing our issues. Oh, okay. And like legit, it's. Thank you. Thank you. I want you to hear from me. Thanks for using chalk. Sure, sure, sure. But uh, what, what are your opinion on prison reform and like uh, defunding the police? I'm against defunding the police, but I'm for changing our policy on police and how they interact with the public. Yeah, but you don't you, you don't believe you don't re believe in like uh, reallocating those funds to the education system. No. So you don't believe I'm the for more educational funds, but not taking away from the police. Mm -hmm. So we just getting the, so where we just getting the money from nowhere? Or? We currently take up what is it, 38, 39 percent of our annual budget. Do you not think that that's a bit disproportionate for, for one block of funding? For, we only have 1,800 cops for a city of 1.5 million people. Don't you think that 38% of the city... But as, as, as we've lost officers, crime has gone up. But you had fewer officers. You know, this is a chart you put, sent out to our Twitter and Facebook where it showed you had fewer officers and lower crime. What were we doing that year? Yeah, but if you look at the whole... The more officers we have, the lower violent crime. Uh, but the history shows different. Like each time there's more cops, there's more crimes because people are more desperate because they have to pay more of taxes and fees to, for tickets and stuff like that. It, it, it's literally. It's, I hear you. It's, but it's, I disagree with that. Uh, it's, the facts show otherwise. Well, I live under that oppression. Like legit, I have to constantly pay money, taxes, and fees for bullshit. Right. Like people are I, because of my hair and shit like that. I'm instantly assigned as a criminal, so I have to get a ticket for something. I have to make money for you somehow, some way, right. through your tickets and your police. What? It's very, it's very, it's more like an occupy, uh, occupying force, right. uh, military force. Especially since, like, this past few weeks, y'all literally had full-on riot gear that cost hundreds of dollars per person when we couldn't even get a proper PPE for medical assistance and people who are essential and stuff like that. Like, we're keeping the market alive. We're keeping your city alive by working for you and putting our lives in danger, but you shoot us with tear gas. You shoot pregnant women with tear gas. You know, a pregnant woman got shot by your officers with tear gas. It's, it's barbaric. Well, that, that was Tennessee Highway Patrol, but I understand what you're saying. Tennessee, Memphis, it's, it's as a whole, and you, you represent the city. We need you to come out against that immediately because that's it's barbaric. Well, I partly agree with that. Right, right. Uh, yeah, pretty much. It, yeah, it is a war crime that y'all use tear gas against your own public. When people said they wanted to take the bridge, I think that's what that would cause the tear gas. But CS gas is banned as a weapon of war. Yeah, yeah, true that. I it is. Kind of well, you. But, but well, it, it doesn't matter. It, it, it does. It has the same effect as tear gas. It, it's just main, a matter of semantics at this point. This is your city for now and shit. Like legit, you have to take responsibility for that. It happened under I, your watch. I, told you, I, part, I, I partly agree with that. Okay. Okay. So what I'm saying is, no, you have to. I partly agree with that. That you, you have to take responsibility. I feel like it's a. It's like a, a constant. A constant pass of the book. We just need to know. Who the fuck, where the buck stop at? It's just, that's just how I feel. That's how I feel, you understand? Yeah. Like, I just think, I think when people were trying to forcibly take the bridge, that's what caused the eh, It's like, it's just, what, stop, stop, a simple stop in commerce does not mean you putting your citizens' life at risk with excessive force. It's just a demonstration, and it was only just, not even going to private, and like, it's going to continue now. It's literally, the forces that y'all put in place to, to stop us, it's only making things last longer and than what it needed it to be. Like now, everybody's all splintered and shit, and everybody's gonna keep going at it. Cause like the issues that were going on, we, we constantly talking about reform, but the form constantly get undermined. It. It, it, it's time for a change. It's time for something else. We're tired of replacing parts of this fucked up car of your police system. It's time to have a new police system. It's time to have a new system entirely. Cause uh, we feel that y'all don't can't imagine change. But there's a whole nother generation that can imagine change. And we really, we don't, we don't have time for y'all bullshit right now. I'm like, legit. It's like, this is a hump day. We need to get over this now. We need to find another way of 
uh, helping our citizens. Because, like, policing, like, legit, just having people come in, jackbooted thugs come in, busting my house, pouring in guns in my family, my mother, my uh, cousins, and all my friends. That's no, nah, that's not that's not groovy. Like legit. Like I could have been a Breonna Taylor. Y'all could have have your people don't even know even have proper gun control or proper gun handling control. Like it could have killed my whole family. But it just was a little slip mistake. 